Thanks for tuning in to another episode of A Lending Hand with Lauren and Eric. Today, we wanna to talk about extended rate locks, specifically when you're building a house and going through a process known as end loan financing. Basically what that means, Lauren, is it's a construction loan where the builder is going to finance the entire construction process. And once the house is, is completed, at the end of that process, you'll come in, you'll close your loan. A lot of track builders use this. You know, your, your, your smaller builders, rural builders, um, you know, custom home builders, maybe not. They want, maybe want more traditional construction financing. Um, but, but this is for those people who are going through a builder finance process and how to handle it. So the reason this is relevant right now is because a lot of our clients are choosing the option of building because of the lack of inventory. So in our market, and I know across really the whole country, there's been a shortage of homes um, and a, a low inventory for quite some time now. So customers are choosing to build. Um, the other reason this is really relevant right now is the rising rate environment. So to be able to secure a rate lock for an extended period of time while you're going through your build process is extremely important and extremely valuable to customers. Yeah, I would agree. Um, you know, if you look at where interest rates were six months ago, a year ago, I mean, they've gone up about 3%. So if you are in the process of building a house or you're considering building a house, you're going to want to seek out a lender like us that has an option for you to go ahead and secure pricing long term because it's going to take you a year or so to finish. Yeah, the extended rate lock program too, it gives you flexibility to lock for up to 12 months. Um, it doesn't have to be for the full 12. You can do you know, 150 day lock, you can do a six month, nine month, but it does give you the ability to, to lock up to 12 months. Um, so that's fantastic, right? And in the past, you know, new builds were taking maybe six, nine months. Now they're taking 12 or even more um, to be able to, to be completed. So you can lock for, for the full duration of that time. Um, the other nice thing is really you're giving yourself peace of mind. Um, you know, you're securing your worst case scenario. So throughout that process of, of building the home, you know, rates are either going to go up, go down, or they're going to stay the same. So if they go up, then great, right? You locked up front, you secured your lock for 12 months, you're set, you don't need to worry. Um, if they stay the same, you're still in a good position, right? And you've, you know, locked that rate up front. The last option is rates go down. So the good thing about the extended rate lock program that we have to offer is you do have a one-time float down option. Correct. So if rates get better, you know, from the time you lock until closer to closing, you have the ability to execute that one-time float down. So there's really no drawback to doing an upfront extended rate lock. Yeah, so let's tie this in with just building a house in general. Uh, most likely your builder will have an affiliated relationship with a lender already, or they'll even have someone that's in-house that they wanna refer you to work with. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, whatsoever. Um, there's a few th uh, points we wanna raise that you should be uh, mindful of before you make that decision. Um, first and foremost, I think we should talk about how you know, th those, those in-house lenders, those affiliated lenders are more so looking after the builder's interest versus your own. Um, Lauren and I, between the two of us, have closed hundreds of, of these new build deals um, and we are completely you know, devoted and dedicated to you guys. Um, to be your advocate and to, to watch out for your best interest. Not saying that there's gonna be anything unsavory happening with the builder's lender, but they are beholden to them. That is their referral partner. And that's how sales work, to be honest with you. Uh, what's another point that you think we should hit on with them? Yeah, I think the other big thing is, you know, sometimes the builder's lender may offer, you know, discounted fees or discounted closing costs, um, you know, but it's not always compared apples to apples. So I think the big thing is that, you know, we want to make sure that we're looking at the full picture for you. Um, a lot of lenders do not offer um, extended rate locks as long as 12 months. So I think that's one of the big things we want to point out. Um, and just that we will be here for you throughout the full duration of the process. Um, like Eric said, be an advocate for you. I think, you know, do your homework, make sure you look at all the options that you have available to yourself throughout the process um, and get yourself locked now um, before rates continue to climb up. Yeah, if you're talking to a lender that tells you it's probably a bad idea to secure your rate long term, I'm guessing it's because they don't offer that product, right? <laughs> good, good point. <laughs> right. Um, so, you know, if, if you're interested in getting any more information about extended rate locks or even traditional construction financing and all things mortgage related, our contact information will be in the description below the video. Feel free to reach out anytime. Thanks for tuning in to A Lending Hand with Lauren and Eric. We'll see you next time. See ya.